Hey guys, Catlin here with your cooldown for today. But before I get into the cooldown, I wanted to talk about a mistake that I made in like two or three of my classes on the isometric grid when we were doing the sequence of transformations. Now, I didn't make any mistakes translating this over. That's pretty simple. But uh, I had a couple of students notice that when we described the next transformation from B to C, and we were doing a rotation around this point and spinning it around this way, if you actually do that, it would have created this shape, which is my bad. I completely looked over that and didn't even think about looking at the key, uh, but it wouldn't have matched up. So technically, from B to C, it's actually a reflection, and I'll draw the line of reflection so you can see it just for the purpose of this, this video. I'm going to keep it short. But if you actually fold it over that 60-degree angle there, it'll fold over and go straight to where C is. And that's that's my bad, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, big shout-out to Caden for catching that whenever we were discussing it. I think it was fifth or sixth period. So uh, just notice that. Change that on your notes if you need to. Sorry about that if you noticed it during and you didn't speak up. Please speak up in the future. I like to, I like to be told when I do something wrong, and that happens from time to time, guys. I'm not perfect either. All right, so let's look at your cool-down for today. You had this object, this triangle here, and uh, it was asking you to uh, give information that you would need in a description to describe these different transformations. So if you were going to translate this triangle, translate, let's do an example of one. Let's say that we just translate all of them down to over one, where A's there, down to over one, B's there, down to over one, and C's there. If you were going to translate it down like that, what information do you need it to describe to somebody? Well, to be able to describe a transformation like that, you need to have two points. Okay, but not just two points. You can't just have two arbitrary points like A and B or A and the new B or uh, A and the new C. You have to have two points that correspond. You don't have to have all three pairs of points. You just got to have, if I know how I get to A to A or I know how to get from B to B or I know how to get from C to C, then I have all the information I need to describe it to somebody to translate it. So all you need are two points that correspond. Sorry, I don't know why I made that plural, that correspond, and you should be able to describe that. Um, for the second one here, okay, if you're going to describe a rotation of a triangle like this, you need to know three things. There's three things that you have to know to describe it to somebody. I'm not going to write these three things down because I don't want people just copying it. Uh, but if you're going to take a shape like a triangle and you're going to rotate it, you need to know... Uh, a point about which it's rotating about, like a center point. You also need to know how far you're going to rotate it. So like in this instance, I'm going to rotate it around that point, and it's going to land here, and then kind of create that shape. And so I need the center point. I need to know how far. In this case, it was 90 degrees of a turn. And I also need to know the direction. So center, angle, and direction are the three things that you need when you're describing a rotation to somebody. Okay, whether I'm turning it left or turning it right, counterclockwise, clockwise, that kind of stuff. So write that information there. And then on the last one there, if you're going to describe a reflection to somebody, if you're taking an object like a triangle, okay, let's do this one. Okay, let's take this triangle. And if we're going to reflect it, we need to know the positioning and the uh, direction of the line of reflection. Okay, that's really all you need. Is it a vertical line of reflection? Where is it located? Uh, is it a horizontal line of reflection? Is it a diagonal line of reflection? And that's what you need to write here. Uh, where and what kind of line of reflection do you have? And that's your cooldown for today. Now, notice that I'm not writing on here. You guys need to write those for yourself. I'm explaining it through pictures and drawings, but you need to be writing it in complete sentences down here if you want full credit for it on Friday. See you, friends.